Well, the dire warnings from Democrats as the U.S. quickly approaches its $14.3 trillion debt limit. It could hit that limit as soon as Friday. My next guest says it is not the end of the world if the ceiling is not raised. Republican Congressman Louis Gohmert joins me now. So welcome to the program. Thanks, Stuart. Now, what they're saying is that, look, you take in $200 billion a month, but you pay out $350 billion a month. How are you going to cut $150 billion out of this spending each and every month without having Armageddon on top of you? You want to explain it? Well, the first thing you do is prioritize like every good household in America knows. If you've got a, a foreclosure that you're worried about, you always pay the mortgage first. Then you pay the car payment. And we have got so much in spending that we could prioritize that uh, and take care of our mortgage, take care of the financial indebtedness that we own bonds, and it's it's between two hundred and three hundred billion dollars. We get two point one to two point two trillion in every year. But, we can prioritize and tell. And I and I take this. Stuart, it's not you know, it's ever, not Armageddon in the sense that the checks won't be going out and people will go hungry and they're starving in the streets. That's, right. that, that's not the Armageddon. It is that all those people that we need to lend us money as we approach this end point won't lend. And the value of Treasury securities goes way down. Banks become financially unstable. That's the Armageddon, which I think a lot of people are talking about. And, Stuart, that's exactly what will happen if we don't get our spending under control. As S&P has warned time and again, we have got to get it under control or we're going to get our rating downgraded. And that's when the Armageddon begins to happen. Now, if you look historically, 1985, we hit the debt ceiling and it wasn't raised for three months. Armageddon didn't happen and we didn't lose our ability to borrow from others. 1995, four and a half months before it was raised after we hit it and people didn't quit loaning money money to us. In 2002, six months after 9-11, we hit the debt ceiling and it wasn't raised for three more months. The well, point is, what is more critical is that we get spending under control or we're going to hit all of the Ar Armageddon promises that well, Chicken Little Geithner has talked about. Do you want to not raise the debt ceiling, not borrow any more? Is, is, would that be your policy, to force us to live within our means, or would you let the debt ceiling be raised if we get a firm, ironclad deal, we're going to cut spending dramatically. That, that's exactly what's required, because if we get a firm, ironclad deal that spending will be cut dramatically, then we, we avoid the, worser, the, the worst uh, scenario, and that is S&P coming back and, and lowering our credit rating, and nobody can trust us anyway. So people are worried right now about loaning us money. We've seen that this week. We can address yep, it if... We will get responsible, and we can see from history, Chicken Little Geithner, just like Chicken Little Paulson, was not right. They're trying to cover their little buddies. Uh, but we need to be responsible about the spending and cut it dramatically so we don't leave that kind of debt to the kids. Well, Representative Louis Gohmert, we appreciate you being with us, sir. Thank you. Stuart, I love hearing you anytime you're on. Love your accent. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>